This screenshot out of Freerin changed the way that I make eyes. At first I looked at this picture because I wanted to pick up like the color scheme, but something else managed to catch my eye. Maybe you already know about it or can guess what it is that I saw. Well, here it is. This eye is concave. You can tell because from a front view, she has this spiky outline on her iris, but from this angle, you can only see it from one side. Her pupil is also deeper than it would be if it was just flat, meaning it's actually structured like this. Now I have seen people model eyes like this before, and I don't know why, but I've never tried it myself until now. Let me show you how OP it is though, and how easy it is to implement and why you might want to use this. Very easy to set up. You're gonna shift A, add a circle. Base settings will do, scale it down. Tab into edit mode, extrude. Right click, scale that down. About here, then do it again. Extrude, scale it down. Then extrude one last time. Press M, A to merge at center. Then turn on proportional editing. You can click here or press O. Select sphere. Let's select the middle. Go to this axis and then just drag that along the axis and then you'll get this sphere looking thing. Add back to object mode, right click it, set origin to center of mass, put it into your eye socket, yeah, give it your material. My material is already set up, it's just literally the image into the output, get it in there, add a mirror modifier, Set the object to your head, of course, and then uh, rotate it outward, yeah, and then also a little downward. Yeah, like that. As you can see, it's a little bit this way. And instead of being straight, goes a little that way and that way for this one and go over to UV editing I've already set up my texture really quite simple you just make a circle give that spiky outline and I'm just using the colors that we saw from that screenshot going from light to dark over here in the edit mode right window press a to select everything go over here click the all the vertices are here just press a to get them selected Right click and unwrap, scale that down and put it over your eye texture. It's not aligned of course, so rotate it until it's the correct orientation. They're a bit far apart and or it's a little small. Like I gave myself a little bit of extra outline. So if I want to scale it up or down, just do that. Now I'm just gonna show you a bunch of different angles so you can see the difference between if it was a flat model versus the concave that we just made. So concave, flat, concave, flat. And here are the differences in my opinion. There is a difference, it's a subtle one, but it does look and feel different. With concave, you get a little more depth because the iris and the pupil are not on the exact same plane. So this is gonna look better from different angles. I think the three quarter angle is where you can most see the difference. And I think the gaze is a little bit better. Like it's a more human gaze. It's a more relaxed feel to it. And I'll show you what I mean when I switch right to flat. You can see right from this front view that it's a more dead on blank stare. It doesn't feel as human. And then these angles, the side and the three quarter, you can definitely tell it's lacking a bit of depth. There's back to concave. I'll move it around too, so you can see what it looks like, like from all of these angles. Yeah. Here's concave, and you can tell like it's a little more dynamic in these angles. When it's moved around, it doesn't look as flat. 
works nicely with our highlights too. In the end, I do think that concave is an improvement over flat. So I'll, I'll just be using that from now on, but you might actually think the flat looks better. I don't know. Who knows, you might have been thinking like, what is this guy talking about? Flat is clearly better or I don't really see much of a difference at all. Uh, in the end, it's up to you what you want your models to look like based on your own preferences. So I'll leave that to you. Hope you enjoyed the video. File will be up on Patreon, so go check that out if you want. And stay tuned because I do play around on Blender every day. And if I find something worth sharing, even if it's something small like this, I'll try to share it with you guys as well. Have a good one.